There are 3,228 billionaires on Earth, but do these billionaires learn foreign languages? Have languages helped them make their cash, or do they even care? Well, I chose 16 billionaires from all around the world to find out exactly what languages they've been using while getting stinking rich. Now, if you love luxury watches, expensive perfume, and Parisian style, then this billionaire family is no secret to you, I am sure. They are the richest family in France. In fact, they're actually the richest family in Europe, and they own the holding company of 75 luxury brands. Now, Frédéric, the son, speaks four languages, French, English, German, and Italian. I wonder, could this be why they made him the CEO of Tag Heuer? I mean, he also has a bunch of fancy degrees and can do this. So we've got a 26-year-old CEO concert pianist who speaks four languages. That's a strong start. We'll find out soon enough whether all billionaires fit this profile. But be warned, there is a plot twist coming, and it has something to do with the children of billionaires. Because after all, what might be more interesting is not what languages billionaires speak themselves, but what languages they make their children learn. Now, Mr. Branson may have space rockets, but can he speak any foreign languages? Well, this is interesting. He once said that he believes that time spent on languages in school should be used for practical subjects like computer coding. So sure enough, Branson only speaks English. But he did give this advice. If you really want to learn a language, go for a widely used one like Spanish. Who would have thought? Aliko Dangotti is the richest man in Africa with a massive business empire, producing cement, oil, and other commodities like sugar. His native language is Hausa, but he also speaks English very well. That life without challenges is very, very boring. And he even went to an Arabic university in Cairo. So he really is on the road to polyglot status. Once upon a time, the billionaireess Tatiana Bakalchik was a humble English teacher, and then she invented the enormously successful online store called Wildberries. She is now Russia's first self-made woman billionaire. Now, let's count the languages she speaks. Russian, Korean, English. Is that all? Well, no. In the early days, she used a lot of German suppliers for her business, so she decided to learn German too. And while it might not be the case that language is there that make you a billionaire as such, it is a great example of how new languages create new opportunities, and, and who knows where that leads. In fact, when young people ask me what's the point of learning languages, that is often my reply to them. You just never know what crazy opportunities come from learning a language. My life has been a testament to that all the way through. In fact, let me know in the comments if you ever had something great happen to you as a result of learning a language, even if it's not becoming a billionaire. Let's inspire some people. He is, of course, the richest man in China, but when he was growing up, Jack Ma only learned Chinese as a child. But when he was 12 years old, he found a way to learn a new language. For nine years, he would ride his bike 17 miles to a hotel where there were English-speaking tourists and give them free tours around the city so that he could practice speaking English. 12 years old, guys, come on. He then became pen pals with one of these foreigners who gave him the nickname Jack, because funnily enough, Jack is not his Chinese name. And then later in life, Jack studied to be an English lecturer, and he's now the richest billionaire in China. And this is the second time that an ex-English teacher has made the billionaire's list. There's hope for Ollie yet. Bill Gates obviously has a brilliant mind, and he famously said that his biggest regret in life is that he only speaks English. Well, Bill, we can fix that. Just subscribe to this channel and we'll get you speaking a new language in no time. Or even better, Bill, sign up to my story learning kit because it's completely free in case you know, you're know you a bit short on cash. Uh, and it'll teach you how to learn a new language with stories. There's a link in the description, Bill. Now, one thing you'll discover later in this video is that even if some of these billionaires aren't learning languages themselves, well, they are getting their kids to learn languages. And one language in particular, curious. The billionaire Zuckerberg who invented Facebook has an IQ of 152 and speaks one notoriously difficult language quite well. Now, I massively respect that he's taken the time to learn Mandarin despite a job that keeps him you know, fairly busy, I'd guess. And apparently he's pretty committed and works on it every single day. Could it be that he has big plans for China in the future? Well, more about Mark later. But now let's see who's next. Right, so Stefano Pessina is a billionaire from Italy. He lives in Monaco now, and so it's no surprise that he speaks both Italian and French. But can you guess his third language? Well, let's see. He used to be a nuclear engineer and now heads the world's largest drugstore chain. And apparently he has ambitions to crack China, which I'm sure he knows will not be easy. So is Mandarin his third language then? 
No, it is English, but according to this video, you probably should learn Mandarin. Jeff Bezos' father was a Cuban immigrant who grew up in America. Yet strangely, Bezos only speaks a little bit of Spanish. Having said that, he is all for learning foreign languages. In fact, he thinks it's so important that he and his wife are doing everything to teach their four kids one language in particular. Don't worry, we will get there. In September this year, Elon Musk's fortune passed $200 billion, making him the richest person on earth. But to the languages, as a South African, he can understand Afrikaans, although only a little bit, and he doesn't really speak it very well, or any other languages for that matter. In fact, even his twins and triplets will not be taught any foreign languages. Why? Okay, Elon is, well, he's special. He's designing these robots called Tesla bots that will supposedly soon be doing all the mundane jobs for us, language translations included. So we don't need to learn those languages after all. <laughs> Sorry. Nubank is the biggest banking group in Brazil, but the big boss, David Vélez, wasn't born in a Portuguese-speaking country. He comes from Colombia, where they speak Spanish, obviously. Now, when you own a banking empire, you are definitely going to meet foreigners speaking all different languages all the time. And sure enough, Vélez was ready, because in addition to his Portuguese and his Spanish, he also speaks German. He went to a German prep school, as it happens, and also English, obviously. <laughs> Michael Bloomberg used to be mayor of New York City, and somewhere along the line, he picked up some Spanish, which is a good thing too, because during Superstorm Sandy, he was able to help New York's Hispanic community. But how good is he at Spanish, really? Por favor, empieza a mobilizar, say, es muy peligroso quedarse en esta area y estará. Well, good on him for trying. In fact, he recently made the following vow. He said, I'm going to work on my Spanish. I'm adamant that I want to speak Spanish like a native. Well, Michael, if you're watching, Link in the description. Najib Savidis is the big brother in a billionaire Arab family whose fortune comes from a massive construction dynasty. And he also owns this little joint on a Caribbean island. But can he speak more than just his native Arabic though? Yes, he can. On top of Arabic, he also speaks English, German, and French. And we can even stretch this to five languages if we include Coptic. And you know, why wouldn't we? The Savidis are a Coptic family after all. But what about their little mini heirs and heiresses? What are they learning? WhatsApp made the Ukrainian Yan Kum a lot of money. Now his family were Jewish immigrants and he lived your typical rags to riches success story during which time he managed to learn English. In fact, he speaks three languages to run his mighty empire, Ukrainian, Russian, and English. Godny Sanov, now this guy's interesting. He comes from a Jewish settlement in Azerbaijan, but now lives in Russia, where he builds things like giant-sized shopping malls and museums. But more impressive than that, he speaks six languages, Russian, Arabic, Turkish, Persian, Farsi, and Dury. Now, I don't actually know if he speaks English or not. Maybe if you know, you can tell me in the comments, in which case that would make seven languages. Good job. Now, Patrick is South African, Chinese, American. Good mix. His parents were immigrants to South Africa where he grew up, but now he is a bioscientist and transplant surgeon in the US. Oh, and he also owns the Los Angeles Times and the San Diego Tribune. I mean, why not? Anyway, Patrick grew up speaking Hakka Chinese and English with a smattering of Khoza and Afrikaans. Of course, he's not going to get a lot of use out of those last two languages in America, most likely, but never mind. Now, like I said earlier, what I think is more interesting for us than the languages these guys speak themselves is what language they teach their kids. After all, that is a sure sign of what they consider important in the future, is it not? So let's look at this. Jeff Bezos' four kids, Ivanka Trump's daughter, Prince George, what are they all getting taught? It is, of course, Mandarin Chinese, and Zuckerberg is taking this quite seriously too. Not only is he teaching his daughter Mandarin, he's also got a personal assistant doing it too. Max woke up a few minutes ago. I'm entertaining her. All right, let's go check on her. Good morning, Max. Let's practice our Mandarin. <gasps> Jarvis, your Mandarin is so soothing. But look, for all of us non-billionaires, there's actually a far more practical list of languages that make you more money in your career right now, and they are over here in this video right there. 